Hey Virgo, <clears throat> I hope you guys are doing well. I want to go ahead and get into your reading for the month of June 2019. Virgo, show me Virgo energy, please. Can I come to Virgo, please? Okay. I've shuffled your cards quite a bit. I want to do a little bit more and then we'll get into it. <clears throat> show me energy is present for Virgo. So Moon Rising and Venus. June 2019 Virgo. So Moon Rising and Venus. June 2019. Thank you. Do a Celtic cross. All right. So <clears throat> the situation at hand. You have the Nine of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> that's good energy, Virgo. Most definitely. That's releasing your mental mental constraints, frustrations, thinking about something for too long that's had you trapped in a situation in your mind. It's letting it go. It's freeing yourself. Sometimes that card can talk about that type of energy to even a greater extent, but I feel here we're letting things go. The obstacle, four of wands in reverse. <clears throat> so um, this is... <laughs> disharmony in the home it's disharmony with people that you are connected with that are very close to you it is connections that have been severed <clears throat> um holding off on engagements um loss of foundation or an unstable foundation what is at the root of your reading you have the eight of wands in reverse lack of communication lack of drive lack of direction um choosing to cut somebody out, letting something go, um, not traveling to a destination, um, not wanting to maintain communication. Sometimes it can even talk about not sending an email um, or a text or, you know, communication. Recent past, you have the um, Five of Pentacles in reverse. So the Five of Pentacles... Oh, it basically talks about coming out of the cold. It talks about releasing ourselves from a lack mentality. If we've had little money or little um, financial abundance in our money, um, <clears throat> basically it is coming back from that. It's stabilizing ourselves. It can also talk about um, bringing ourselves back in where we may have been left by somebody. Um, doesn't necessarily mean we have to bring ourselves back to a situation with them, but it's like regaining ourselves, feeling better about ourselves, being stronger again within ourselves so we can actually move forward towards what we need. Um, you know, that's good. You know, it could also be somebody else wanting to come back as well. But I feel that there is a relief and release here, um, a lack of wanting to maintain something. Um, it may be a situation where you are having a difficult time. I don't want to say like you've cut somebody off and that's the way you're telling them you don't want to do something. Like, that's not a good idea. Like, don't ghost somebody, you know, but <clears throat> communicate. And there's a lack of communication here. Um, and it has a fair amount to do with connections with people that we care about, um, stability within our connections. Um, the present energy, you have the Queen of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> so the Queen of Wands in reverse, this is um, fire energy. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, the Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody who is very difficult to deal with. She's kind of a ball buster. <clears throat> she is somebody who... Um, when she is working out of her lower energy, which is in the reverse, it's somebody who's very difficult to deal with. They're very bitchy. They're moody. They um, Nothing is ever going to be right for them. You know, it's somebody that's constantly cantankerous, um, very upset in life with everything. <clears throat> Nothing's going to be good. Marcel, no, no. Why don't you go lay on the couch, relax, peel some grapes, chill. <clears throat> Every card here is in reverse, and this deck, I've shuffled, but this deck is not necessarily all of them are in reverse. Like, every card here, though, is in reverse. Near future, coming up, you have the Two of Cups in reverse, Virgo. Um, the Two of Cups in reverse talks about releasing connections that we may recognize that are deep and impactful in our lives, but either they're no longer necessary to maintain those connections in our lives or the situation that you're experiencing with that person is causing a breakdown, a rift. There's 
frustration and misalignment in the relationship. It is a desire to release that relationship. So either you can go your separate ways and never speak to one another again, or you can go your separate ways and salvage the relationship as friends or as connected people down the road. But right now there's a separation right now that there there's a, <clears throat> things are getting a bit derailed here. Um, but it feels like somebody here is in a way they're, maybe happy about it a little bit or I don't know if they're happy about it but it's almost as if it's something that they want it feels like there's somewhat of a burden released which is an odd thing to say just because there's so much strife in this situation but it's almost as if somebody the act of all of these things disintegrating is almost kind of like a secret wish that somebody may have carried so your current energy within yourself within your mind emotions you have the hermit in reverse <clears throat> so the Hermit in Reverse has a couple, of well, many meanings. It's a very spiritual card. Um, the Hermit, you know, in reverse, this talks about essentially not, um, it, it's, it's well, it could be not contemplating, not being within yourself, not seeking spiritual, you know, change and, you know, movement in your life. But it can also more than likely talk about <clears throat> a situation where we've evaluated something for so long that we recognize that it's actually unhealthy for us. Therefore, we opt to release it. We choose the path of letting it go versus wanting to stabilize it and stick around with it. It feels like this is in your mind. And, you know, for better or worse, that's what I'm feeling and that's what I'm hearing. Um... Either way, whatever that means to somebody, but for better or worse, like <clears throat> the act of letting this go feels better. Okay. What's coming toward you? <clears throat> Every card is in reverse. Um, the three of wands. So this is essentially letting something go. It's no longer wanting. To, oftentimes, if you're waiting for something, you really, really want something, this can talk about it coming finally. It can also talk about letting things go, giving up on a feeling, giving up on an idea, giving up on a desire, a pathway, <clears throat> direction with somebody. It could be a situation where there may have been third parties. I don't really see too much of the third party situation here other than the potential for this to be a third party situation while you're dropping it. But it's almost as if whatever is disintegrated here, it's leaving somebody feeling relieved. Show me hopes, fears, worries, concerns. And we have the Knight of Pentacles upright, finally, the only upright card in this reading. <clears throat> so the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, this could very well be you. Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This is an energy where we we essentially move towards what we want. It's it's somebody who gets involved with things that are going to be long standing. Um, you could either be in communication with somebody about the direction that you want to go in, or you could be essentially directing yourself in a very slow and calculated way towards out of this out of this situation, <clears throat> um, and focusing more so on what makes you stable in your life. Right now we have the obstacle here as something that's very unstable, whether this be your finances, your home career, uh, home career or friendships, relationships, um, that can definitely talk about instability there. <clears throat> but with the Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody who basically endeavors into things that um, pay off and they don't get into stuff that doesn't pay off. They're going to be very... Um, they take a very long time. They're very diligent. They're, you know, learners. They are givers. They want to maintain things for people that are in their lives. They want stability, most of all. And so they're going to do their hardest to um, maintain that, to bring it to all of those things. So not a bad card. <clears throat> you know, I wonder, is this is this hope? Is this worry? Is it a concern? Is it, you know, are you going to make it? Will you be able to stabilize your life? on the path that you're on, you know, these are things that I definitely understand can be very daunting and frustrating situations, um, things to think about. Um, <clears throat> but whatever this is and this feeling that I'm getting here is like somebody is happy that this is gone. And yeah, the outcome card, you have the King of Wands upright. So you have the Queen of Wands in reverse and you have the King of Wands upright in this reading. So a couple a very powerful couple um, 
Very interesting, of the same suit. The female is irate, frustrated, upset, inconsolable, um, angry, um, vicious communication, um, manipulation, all of the all of the crazy stuff. <clears throat> the King of Wands, um, this is a leader type energy. This, I feel, this doesn't have to be a male or a female, whomever this fits. The energy is somebody who recognizes the direction that they want to go in and they go and they go with quite a lot of energy behind them. If I were in this situation, I would want to get away from it faster than I can say because this does not feel good. It feels very stifling, frustrating, um, devoid of connection and communication. It's more just like <sighs> type crazy energy. And like I said in the beginning of this reading, it feels like there is... Um, Something here where we are in a state of silent relief, okay? So, <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck, you have the Knight of Swords here. So, harsh communication, brutal communication, sometimes fighting, getting to the bottom of things so you can actually tell the truth, um, you know, convey the truth, convey the entirety of the situation. Um, sometimes it's just literally cutting a situation out, you know? So, those are things that feel like they're going on and this reading is not for everybody Virgo I definitely know that and I hope you do too these are general readings um general readings on YouTube and they're not going to resonate with everybody <clears throat> okay so let's go ahead and clarify this reading I'm going to see what's going on a little bit deeper and then we will pick some oracle cards and um be done until next reading Okay, so for the Nine of Swords in reverse, you have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Exactly. So <clears throat> kind of this strange relief that I'm talking about, we have the Seven of Pentacles is essentially evaluating a situation. In reverse, this talks about releasing it, letting it go. It talks about looking at it and saying, listen, this doesn't make any sense for me to give anything more to this. I am not happy here. This isn't, this is more of a burden than anything. And it feels like with this nine of swords in reverse, we're releasing that. We're letting it go. We no longer want to be tethered to it. Um, and that feels good. There's a silent, there's a secret kind of like hush where we are silently relieved. Um, for the four of wands in reverse, you have the world in reverse. So the world in reverse can talk about a lot of things, but what I'm feeling here is unfinished business. Um, it's communications that have gone awry. It is <clears throat> not letting things complete, not letting things die. And that may be due to a fair amount of fighting, frustration, ill communication, um, yeah, the world in reverse upright talks about letting things go, allowing cycles to end, breaking things down so you can learn the lessons and move forward in your life to new things. Um, here, this can also feel like the situation has felt like the world has been on your back. <clears throat> this may be in connection to your home situation. It may have been very tumultuous with this person, tit for tat, back and forth, frustrating communication, anger, um, a disintegration of the foundation of your home, your relationship, the connection that you have. <clears throat> the Eight of Wands in reverse, you have the Six of Swords in reverse. So very interesting information here. We have a card where we are not communicating we're not wanting to maintain communication. We can be blocking somebody. And then we have a card with the Six of Swords in reverse where we are having a difficult time moving away from something. Why are you having a difficult time moving away from, you know, this, <clears throat> this energy here? Is somebody having a hard time? If this was a third party situation, is somebody having a difficult time letting it go that, that it was a third party? Is that like the clincher? If so, it's probably best for you to try your damnedest to let it go and move on just because trying to squeeze out all of the information, it's almost, I don't want to say it's pointless, but what's happened may have happened and, you know, trying to, this is almost like egging somebody on or, or not letting something go even though somebody is not talking to us about something, you know? not wanting to release a thing, coming back to a thing, picking the scab off, picking the bandage off, you know, not allowing things to heal, um, banging on a door that is essentially shut and blocked and the lights are out, but we're still banging there waiting for the information to come. 
sometimes that information, you know, the silence that information carries sometimes is the answer. Um, for the five of pentacles in reverse, you have the page of pentacles. So with this energy, it's interesting too, because we have somebody, you know, almost giving a pentacle to somebody else. Um, <clears throat> In a, in a strange way, I feel that this is almost like this disintegration has actually been in the making for a while. Um, I feel that this energy is somewhat where we are moving towards something new and it's kind of been secretive in, in the making. Sometimes that's the best way to go. Sometimes we have to have a plan. You know, I don't know the energy that I'm going to get to the Queen of Queen of Wands in a minute in reverse. <clears throat> I don't know what else she's carrying because this energy in reverse, the Queen of Wands, it's a very unhealthy energy, very angry, very frustrated, very demeaning, very just like in your face about everything. And then like emotionally manipulative. It's like all of it. And it's very uncomfortable. <clears throat> and it's not surprising that somebody would want to get their guts all together and leave the queen of wands we have the hierophant so if this is a relationship a foundation a marriage a relationship that's been on for a while um this person may be wanting to hold on to this energy and the way that they're doing it is really just it's it's bad <clears throat> um you know they may have sought counseling they may need to seek counseling they may need to they may say that they want to seek counseling but it feels like somebody here is moving forward i don't think with them i feel that there's a relief and a release um yeah the hierophant also in a certain way this could be somebody who is upset because the things that they expected in a relationship did not go the way that they expected them to go um, they may have had very specific views and visions about how a relationship is supposed to look, what it's supposed to be like, you know, keeping up with the Joneses, like those types of like, well, you know, I, I think you get what I'm saying. It's very prescribed um, belief systems about relationships and love and sometimes that can actually get in the way and cause harm because it doesn't give the relationship actual breathing room it doesn't give two people the opportunity to be real because one is trying to adhere to a bunch of crazy bullshit misconceptions that the society adheres to but what are these built upon these are built upon traditions <clears throat> tradition um of previous days, you know, and then we also, I, and I talk about this in my video sometimes too, um, the Disney effect, like we have had, I think Disney started in like the, the late 20s, 30s, early 30s. Anyways, it's been around for a really long time, you know, almost 100 years, almost. <clears throat> and um, it's always about the heroine, you know, being saved by the prince. And, you know, it's, it's always going to be a fluffy, happy ending life isn't like that you know there are a lot of dragons there's a lot of blood you know we prick our fingers on spindles all the time like you know it's it's important to recognize that those prescribed things are not real you know in our society in our media it's constantly constantly like <clears throat> the good guy gets the girl and it's going to be happy forever and this and that like some relationships are stable but they're not exciting like some relationships are loving, but they're not, I don't know, like there's so many like juxtapositions there. <clears throat> but what I'm feeling here is that this queen of wands in reverse is almost like clinging on to what a relationship is supposed to look like. And that's caused somebody to just be like, I am so done with this. Like that is not even how I feel. Two of cups in reverse, you have the emperor. So this is Aries energy. We have King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Now we have Aries energy here. Um, you know, this is interesting. <sighs> okay, so if we are following that theme, it almost feels as if the King of Wands is somebody who may have stepped into this energy to maintain and supply the type of 
relationship that this person was wanting or feeling and it caused a lot of heartache a lot of frustration um it may have caused them to be away from a situation with their partner for too long paying attention to finances paying attention to <clears throat> all of the mundane things and not giving enough time to their partner which in turn pissed their partner off yet their partner wants something that is like fairy tale disney and like the man is supposed to be the head of the house and supply the this and the that and all of that bullshit. Like get your own job, lady, even if this isn't for a lady. <clears throat> but however it works, this this is what I'm feeling here. Um, this can also talk about just somebody who is also colder in their approach. Um, and this may be now in the disintegration part. Of this relationship it's like somebody's like no I will just work on myself I will work on maintaining my life I will maintain things that make sense for me I've had enough and that's kind of what it feels like and it's driving somebody else nuts for the hermit in reverse <clears throat> you have the wheel of fortune so good um the wheel of fortune talks about patience it talks about cycles um sometimes perpetuating cycles but Overall, it's it's flow. It's good energy moving forward. Um, sometimes here, I do want to mention this because the 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 hermit in reverse too. On occasion, he can talk about somebody who is um, not willing to look into themselves towards a situation. I don't feel that that's the case here, but I do want to mention it though because these readings are for thousands of people and not every situation is going to be one way. <clears throat> so I do want to mention as much information as possible for folks so they can, if it does fit into their, their experience that they're, ex they're having, then that's, that information's for you if it matches. If none of this matches, this isn't for you. <clears throat> This talks about moving forward. It talks about releasing things. The Hermit in Reverse, a lot of the time, though, I do want to mention, really does talk about just having porn over, poured over something enough to where we realize this isn't healthy for me to maintain. This isn't something that I want to maintain because it's ugly. It's brutal. It's somebody who is very vicious in their communication. And so we've closed communication off, yet we have somebody else trying to bang down the door and make communication happen. It's like a vicious cycle. <clears throat> the three of wands in reverse, we have the ace of cups in reverse. So this is essentially a card of releasing energy between people, recognizing that a connection and bond with somebody is no longer healthy. Um, upright, this card talks about emotional healing, health. It talks about love between two people. It talks about extension of love and the desire to maintain love. It talks about a cup of love, giving our energies and emotions towards somebody willingly and lovingly, um, compassionately. Here we have a dissolve of that. We have a lack of healing, a lack of emotional communication, emotional discord between two people. Um, somebody may just be literally giving up on this situation. Like I said, like this three of wands in reverse, giving up on love. <clears throat> I mean, there's an undeniable bond between the people, or at least there was, but it feels like the disintegration has happened. The Knight of Pentacles, you have the Four of Cups um, upright. If you look at this Four of Cups, he's pouring his cup out, pouring the cup out, um, pouring the cups out, okay? The four of, um, four of Cups essentially talks about not making an offer, not communicating with somebody, um, not doing anything. It's a stagnation card. It talks about sometimes being bored. It talks about sometimes just really not wanting to do anything with somebody where we would rather go our own way towards a different direction and plan, fo focusing on what is um, correct for us, you know, and that may be difficult for somebody to swallow. <clears throat> now the king of wands you have judgment in reverse so judgment in reverse it's interesting um judgment in reverse can often just talk about not wanting to maintain a connection with somebody not wanting to continue with someone um letting things go because you recognize it would be in your not in your best judgment to maintain that connection with somebody and that's what i feel here and again it feels like for a while though this has been cooking and it feels like there's some energy here where somebody is actually, I want to say, relieved um, that that's going on. And for the Knight of Swords, you have the Ace of Swords in reverse. 
<clears throat> so with this Knight of Swords, which was on the bottom of the deck for the last, um, for the initial cards here, the Ace of Swords in reverse, this is talking about just poor communication in general. It talks about not being able to communicate fairly, um, the truth not being given, constant fighting, bickering. Those two cards together, the Knight of Swords, upright or in reverse, often can denote somebody who is very forceful in their communication. <clears throat> um, sometimes that's just you're at a loss for words with somebody like there's no point in maintaining communication with them because it's constant bickering and fighting and frustration so let's go ahead and pick some cards here um, I have been using the demon deck demon tarot um, I didn't use it a lot before just because I was concerned that people would be worried about it and <clears throat> if you're worried by it try not to give it your energy there's nothing really wrong with it um so it's just information. Show me for Virgo. Show me for Virgo. June 2019. Show me for Virgo. Virgo. The energy's heavy. The keys. The divination for Lachis. Beware of taking personal campaigns to extremes, alienating potential allies by forcing strong views and on other. <clears throat> Beware of taking personal campaigns to extremes, alienating potential allies by forcing strong views on others in destructive ways. <clears throat> strong views on others in destructive ways these are views these are viewpoints these are either societal emotional mental things that we have been brought up it's causing somebody to be out of balance it feels like that's not the only reason that the situation may have dis disintegrated <clears throat> but it feels like that is a fairly large crux of here. I'm going to pull one from the Nocturna deck, and then we are going to close this reading out, Virgo, okay? <clears throat> Show me for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus, June 2019, Virgo. 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 <clears throat> you have Aurora. So, it's interesting. <laughs> I mentioned earlier in this reading, I was like, we prick our fingers on the spindle. Aurora. <laughs> if anybody knows what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Aurora, positive omens, ancestral spirits, gods, and goddesses. Across many cultures, the Aurora Borealis Australis were thought to have mystical origins. The Vikings believed that the lights were from the, bis the Bifrost, <clears throat> a rainbow bridge that connected the nine realms of Norse mythology in Norse mythology, while ancient Greeks thought they were from the chariot from the goddess Aurora. Chinese legends associated them with, the battle with battling dragons, other cultures, such as um, those from North America and Northern, Northern Europe, believe that they are lights to be spirits of the dead. They are typically very positive omens. Interesting. So <clears throat> what I feel here, like literally I'm going to go on two words from this, and these are the words. Battling dragons. Battling dragons. Battling the dragon. Here, this is the main card. It's in reverse. It's letting it go. Bravo, Virgo, letting it go. I feel that somebody's relieved. <clears throat> I'm sorry the other person is totally out of whack right now, and hopefully they can get over that and heal themselves because there's a fair amount of 
healing that needs to happen, but it can only happen when this is released. All right, Virgo, um, I hope that this was helpful. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe if it was. My name is Isil. I'm on YouTube as The Altruistic Mystic. And if you feel like donating, there's a link in the description box below. And I wanted to thank so many of you for your donations. I really appreciate that. That's incredibly kind of you. And I value that. So thank you so much. I, I appreciate you doing that for me. Um, all right. I'll be back for the mid-June reading in a few weeks. Take care, you guys. Bye.